To, to reverse we are not worthy there going on Willie Weber there in the black shirt in the foreground he's got used to seeing his man do the business so then it's not an open goal by any means for Kimi Raikkonen there's a big goalkeeper there trying to stop this ball going in Raikkonen's got to do something special he binned it at the first corner two weeks ago in Montreal but he has got a quick car under him now as he attacks this first sector this is where he's got to get the Michelins to do the job for him they have the advantage in the slower corners and then he's really got to be very very on it for the rest of the lap as well tremendous pressure on this young man's shoulders and it's all to play for he's got one lap to do it and he's seen both Schumacher's and Montoya and Barrichello put in great laps and so has he put in a great first sector as he heads down the hill to the very bottom of the racetrack Raikkonen responding to that pressure certainly early on in the lap and that was supremely neat and tidy wasn't it that was perfect through there. That was as good as we see anybody do, the Dunlop curve there. Up through the left-hander then, carrying a lot of speed up over the hill. Kimi Raikkonen will have a display in his cockpit, telling him how he's doing relative to Michael Schumacher. Second split time coming up then, as we ride on board with the man who recently relinquished the lead to the World Championship. He wants it back here this weekend. He's dropped time to Schumacher though. Almost two tenths of a second. How's he going to attack the chicane? Let's hope we stay on board. It was all right, but it didn't seem, you didn't go, wow, did you? You didn't feel that he absolutely just threw caution to the wind through there. Raikkonen in the final corner, James, this is going to be so tight. There's nothing much in it then as he goes for the line. Raikkonen, can he do it? Yes, he can! What a brilliant finish to a brilliant, yes, goes Norbert Howe. The Finns in the crowd are happy too. Oh boy, that was something special. We have to see that again the end of that lap because he had given away time to Michael Schumacher in the middle of the lap. But Mercedes and McLaren are on pole here in Germany at the Nürburgring thanks to a stunning finishing to the lap from Kimi Raikkonen. And what a great scrap we're having this season between Raikkonen and Michael Schumacher. The 23-year-old Finn, the 33-year-old German with the huge gulf of experience difference between them and they are giving us such a good championship and they ever and what's special about the lab is he just hooked everything up he's not fastest in any of the sectors or any of the the three main speed traps around the circuit is right and doesn't feature the top of any of them but he got the got them all he got the three bells as we say got all of his sectors really good and he made the difference that's a great pole position from the young Finn and it's his first pole position in Formula One so what a place to do it in front of all the Mercedes big brass they've got their own grandstand here let alone bringing a few people along they've got thousands here and they will be pouring in tomorrow in the expectation of seeing a titanic struggle between their man Kimi Raikkonen and the Ferrari for two Ferraris of Schumacher and Barrichello and a spread there as you can see between the Michelins and the Bridgestones and well you have to say that was a pretty intoxicating qualifying session tomorrow's race should be just as exciting fantastic performance from Kimi Raikkonen that in fact is McLaren's uh, first pole position of the year so excellent the uh, modern Nürburgring and time to enjoy one of the great laps of the season in a Formula One car. It's the MP417D, the McLaren Mercedes and at the wheel it's Kimi Raikkonen going last in qualifying two and he knows Michael Schumacher has just put his Ferrari on pole. You're on board with Martin Brundle. You're 23 years old, you carry the weight of McLaren Mercedes-Benz on your shoulders today. Michael Schumacher's just put in a stunner, you've got one lap to respond. 185 miles an hour heading down into turn one, breaking a straight line. Down six gears into first for the hairpin. Scrabble it over to the right-hand side somehow because turn two is on you immediately. If you push too hard on the throttle, you'll run wide. The car opens up nicely, turn three, you bring the car down nice and low. Turn four now immediately, sort of a balanced throttle affair, plenty of space on the exit, Raikkonen uses all of it as he builds up to 175 towards the Ford curve, 105 through the middle of the corner, staying very and unusually low for the right-hander, but it worked well, cascading downhill towards the Dunlop curve, 160 down to just 60 in the heart of the corner, a late apex, just clipping the curve, get the car straight, 
pile on the throttle, up the hill you go, building up to 165, slight breather as you pull the G through the corner, 180 now as you head into the RTL curve, bumpy on the way in, touch the curb on entry, let the car run high, immediately flick to the left, ready for the right hander bit curve, car floats through there, use the curve to stop the slide, building up to 185 miles an hour as you head towards the new NGK chicane. The hill helps you break even later than normal. Slap the bollards with the left tie, now the right tie. Don't touch the wing, pile on the throttle, let the traction control catapult you towards Coca-Cola. You have to be patient on the way in. As soon as you feel the front end grip, floor the throttle, head for the line. Kimi Raikkonen on pole.